Okay, so um, I did already upload my reaction to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. However, for those who did watch it, uh, there was a comment where we had a discussion about translation and localization. And lo and behold, how I talked about uh, sometimes there are some unnecessary changes in localization from the translation. And sure enough, yesterday I watched Final Fantasy VII Rebirth um, Summer Games Fest trailer again. And there are some different lines in the Japanese version. So we're going to be watching that. And um, I'm going to be explaining the couple of lines that are different. Um, it's it's a significant enough because the English trailer led me to believe, uh, especially towards the end where Tifa gets attacked by Sifroth, that there's a specific line that says, uh, he says in English where he's like, I already killed you. Who are you? And I thought they cut it to be funny. Ha ha. And we're like, um, that's the moment that something happens to Aerith and we're cutting it in as a line and the video is not going to match the line. You know, sometimes they, they edit in words that are not matching the scenes to try to make it more edgy. Well, uh, in the Japanese version, it's different. So we're going to watch it really quick. And there's the line. Let me explain. So in this Japanese version, he specifically says Tifa's name, which he doesn't in English. Again, an unnecessary change, right? Uh, there shouldn't have been a reason to ask him saying Tifa's name. He said, I'm pretty certain that I killed Tifa. So if that's the case, then what exactly are you? That's what he says in the Japanese trailer. But in the English trailer yesterday, he, he completely leaves out her name, leaving it more ambiguous. And then he basically doesn't even say... It's similar, but what he's saying is not it, right? That is not the same thing. So I wanted to sort of rewatch it and explain it and go through some of the lines. Um, Yuffie, com comedically during her scene, essentially says, uh, give me a break. Like she's like tired of, of dealing with all this stuff. So she's like going for like a form of escapism and it's sort of comedic as, as she used to be, you know? In the English version, she's like, they're trying to treat it like she has trauma. Like she's like... Um, Keep that thing away from me or whatever, like she has trauma. Not at all what the Japanese version is doing. The Japanese version, she's like, ah, oh, give me a break. So like there's like mannerism changes too. And so that's sort of why I wanted to cover this and sort of go back over it again so that you can see it for yourself and understand that I, I get the difference from localization and translation, but there are certain things you don't need to completely change, like removing Tifa's name when Sephiroth talks. There's no reason to remove it. There just isn't. Like it's contextual. It gives it gives consistency between the translations. It, it makes it clear what he's talking about, and it's not ambiguous like the English version. I just wanted to sort of address that because we had this whole conversation uh, on the previous YouTube video, and I felt it was really important to cover it again. Um, well, not again, but like to cover this as the other half of that and upload it and sort of amend it, and so you can understand. That there is a difference between that English version and the Japanese version. And to some people, it might be semantics, but when you're writing a narrative, it is so important to understand that when you write things in a specific way and contextually, uh, and, and I get that trailers don't give you context, right? Like trailers are always like hype up and, and do whatever, right? And there's not really a rhyme or reason of how they cut audio, etc., right? But to not be able to differentiate tends to be an issue. So. So that being said, um, thank you very much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. Please comment because I like talking about things. You all did great on the Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 3 feature redeem video, and I enjoyed talking to all of you and talking about the comments. Um, and, you know, if you want to just keep updated, just go ahead and make sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe and stuff. Normally, I don't ask. I'm not the type of person who usually asks for this stuff. But, like, 95% of the audience is not, again, um, sticking with me. So if there are any uh, room for critique or comment or anything else or certain games you want to see or anything like that, let me know. I play a ton of stuff, but there's got to be something for someone everywhere. It's just the amount of time I have to take to edit. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I'll catch you next time. Bye.